everyone, this game is called Game Dev Story on the Samsung Galaxy S3. This really is a very, very addictive game. From the fact that I was playing it last night and I think I played it for about three hours, I got that addictive. So we're going to continue. As you can see, I've made quite a bit of money. Trust me, I had way more than this yesterday. So if we click onto that where I've saved it and it'll bring us into the game. Okay, so the aim of the game is you're a games company and you've got to build games. Really, really cool. Okay, now if you click on it, it brings up a menu here. So you've got develop, staff, action, info and system. In the system, you can go to the manual which tells you how to play the game. And you can also save in there as well. But to develop a game, if you're going to develop, you start off with two things. You start off with new game and contract. Then later on in the game, you will unlock the sequel and you'll unlock console. I can't do console yet because apparently I need some sort of engineer but you can't get that until you're a bigger company. So to get, create a game if you go into new games as you can see here you can unlock different types of consoles. So far I've got three unlocked so we're going to make one on this that looks like the Wii. Now if you click on here you've got your genia, your type and your direction now, you've got to match these up, otherwise you make a really bad game. So, let's click on simulation, because it's one of the best. And if you do war here, I've done this game before, so I might get told off. Uh, it tells you if you're making too much of the same type of game, and you'll lose fans. So, if we click OK, as you can see here, it brings up all of these. And you can change this if you want. Now I've done it so my game world is really good and the polish is really good and realism is really good. So if we click on this, and it's going to tell you. So who are we going to have to write the proposal? Now to write the proposal we want someone that's really good at scenarios. So if we click through and see if we can find our best one. Now he's really good. Now also you can have your staff do it or you can pay and have other people do it. But sometimes your staff is just as good. So we're going to go for a staff member today, as it took me a long time to build these staff members up. So we click on him. I think we've actually clicked on the wrong guy, but never mind. As you can see, he's working away. It's not doing too bad. Could be better though. Could be much better than that. I've, I've had it up to 80 before. So if we click on this. It's wishing us good luck to start. As you can see, everybody's working away. Now up here, you can use these little token things. And if you go into action and use item, you can use your data and you can up things. So let's pick on a good staff member. There we go, she's brilliant. Now you start off with two staff members and then you get to, the bigger you get, the more you get to buy. I'm also going to show you because you can level up your staff members as well. As you can see they're working away. Now to level up your staff members, if you go into staff here and you're going to level up, it'll tell you what to do. So we're going to level up her and it uses your little tokens here to do that. Also you can train your staff. So if you go into here and go into train and it costs money to train people up so if you go into train I found if you send them on holiday it trains them up really quickly so he's just been on holidays come back and we've just unlocked Egypt, Egypt which is going to be great for later on today so we go back out of there I've got eight members of staff now I'm hoping if I get more money I'll get more this person is offering to um, help boost things up. Now if you click yes, it will tell you if you've got enough of the tokens, which I haven't really got that much, so 55% will probably fail. So we're going to skip that. You find that sometimes it fails, sometimes it doesn't. Even when you have it up at 80%, it sometimes fails. Click no. When you've made enough games, you can go to the awards and win awards. Last time I went, I even won the grand prize for having best graphics and things like that. So this is they want to send us somewhere to get more fans. So let's go and do that and I'll quickly show you. So we're at Game Decks and this is our booth. 
So as you can see, we've got a new record of the amount of visitors, which is fantastic. And that'll be more people buying our games, which is great. We're not doing very well at this game at the moment, and I haven't got enough points to make it even better. So we're probably not going to get a very good score for this game. Now this is someone that's going to do the graphics. He's pretty good, so let's click on him. Sometimes it's worth paying out for other people to do it, because you sometimes get more out of it. At the start of the game, you do have a little amount of money, and you'll find that it's very, very easy to spend the money. I mean, I had over 100,000 last night and I spent the money so quickly just making games. But once you've got enough money, you can just keep rolling out the games, buy as many consoles as you can. It really is a very addictive game. You get to move to bigger places to work and stuff like that. It's really fantastic. I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think.